Welcome back, everybody. The Jumbo Shrimp get a promotion. Jacksonville's baseball team moving up to AAA, meaning it will have a roster of the Miami Marlins' top prospects. It is the first time the city has had a AAA team since the 1960s. So Jumbo Shrimp Executive Vice President and General Manager Harold Craw joining us this morning via Zoom. If you look behind you, the crowd is going wild. They like this news. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank, thanks for having me this morning. And yes, it's exciting. It's inviting and nothing like seeing a full stadium. It's been a while since we've had that opportunity to see fans in the stadium watching right. baseball. Right. And we'll talk about that in a minute because I know you didn't get to play last season. But, you know, Jacksonville was definitely positioned for this. Attendance is up since Ken Babby took over in 2015. Jacksonville's population and growth all plays a factor. So what does this mean for the city? And then, of course, our home team. Well, we, we start off by tipping our cap. You know, to Jacksonville, because with without our fans, without Crustacean Nation, this would not be possible. Uh, let me not be remiss, uh, our partners as well. So it's been a, an awesome kind of tap on the back, pat on the back, um, an opportunity for us to just enjoy the the invitation uh, to move up. And so it's it's a big it's a big deal for the city, obviously a big deal for the club. And so definitely something that we can stick our chest out a little bit about that. Right. And that, that longstanding relationship and partnership with the Marlins, how does this really submit that partnership? So we've since 2009, you know, obviously we've, we've been affiliated with the Marlins, but this just makes it firm. We've always had a firm, great re working relationship with the Marlins, but this just takes it a step further. But it really speaks to how much they value that partnership and how important it was to them and what we've done over the past couple of years to show their players have been uber successful on the field, not only in Jacksonville with a couple of playoff runs, but also in the majors with Miami with the playoff run that happened last year. Yeah, and let's talk about it, though, because you guys weren't able to play this past season, as you alluded to. You're ready to see some fans back in the stands, of course, because of the pandemic. But back in August, the city did award the parent company of the Jumbo Shrimp $2.16 million in COVID relief. So that was crucial to your livelihood. Yeah, it, it was it was a big deal. It uh, helped us keep everyone employed uh, throughout the summer as we programmed 47 events at 121 Financial Ballpark. Um, and, it, and it allows us to continue to move forward, you know, as well. We'd have a great, obviously, working relationship, you know, with the city and, and ASM. Um, and this opportunity that, that we did receive, you know, the CARES grant was, was a big deal for us um, as well. And it does allow us to continue to move forward um, and then just even helped more by this invitation that we received uh, to move up to AAA. Yeah, you know, let's talk about um, Babby because he he's a fun guy. I mean, I'll never forget a few years ago that Christmas um, commercial you guys did, really trying to bring baseball to everybody. You know, there are a lot of good deals and a lot of fun promotions. So what's 2021 looking like? A, a, lot, a lot of the same. We're still, you know, Affordable Family Fun. You know, it's, it's still jumbo shrimp baseball. We're still zany. We're still wacky. We're still outside of the box with our promotions and things like that. Um, but just an opportunity. I mean, the thing that probably most people would see more is the change of the athletes that are on the field. Being that it happened this year, it's just a little bit different because we were in 2019 a double A Marlins affiliate. And so ironically, a lot of the guys that played on the field in 19 that folks saw would you know, obviously with the invitation be coming back potentially again for AAA here as one little difference is most of the guys that are on a AAA roster in some fashion are also on the extended big league roster. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it even more viable to see guys that once September, October or any time, honestly, during the season, we could see playing in Marlins Park. Oh, that's exciting that those elite players out there on the field. So congratulations. Our city is cheering you on and we cannot wait to see baseball back here in Jacksonville. Thank you guys. Can't wait to welcome you back. Crustacean Nation, come and see us. <laughs> yes.